Welcome to another episode of Tall Oaks Life. Today we're going to be making a bourbon bottle bird feeder. I had to pronounce bottle better because I keep saying barrel and I don't know why. Maybe because barrel of bourbon sounds better? I don't know. Uh, it's going to have a penny roof and we're going to torch the wood framing to give it a little extra oomph. So, uh, you may notice in this video that my wife is not in it. Uh, she just gave uh, birth to our baby girl. She's amazing and uh, is in recovery. So I'm gonna try to make this a short video because I wanna get back to my baby girl. All right, so I'm gonna go over some of the other stuff, but I'm also gonna make some cuts to save some, uh, save some time here. Uh, so we have this St. Augustine bourbon bottle and uh, we're gonna use that for the hold the bird seed and it's gonna be tipped upside down inside the holder where it's gonna pour out onto a base plate. The roof is going to be made from old pennies that have been patinaed. Uh, I have some super glue that I'm going to use to put it on there. Not sure if it's a great idea because I don't know how the super glue is going to hold up to the, you know, the elements, rain, heat, things like that. So if you have a better way to get this on there, let me know in the comments below. And then I have a benzomatic uh, torch. That's what I'm going to use to burn the wood. Be very safe with this if you try this video. Uh, so don't burn your hands, don't burn your house down. So be safe. Um, also, don't get your birds drunk. So I washed this out with some water and soap to make sure it was nice and clean. Although it would, it would be pretty cool to see a bird singing after it's had a few shots. Uh, we don't want to hurt them. So <laughs> make sure you clean out your bourbon bottle. Okay, so I made a few mistakes in my drawing because I had planned it to be exactly eight inches. And I know this, I don't know why I didn't think about it at the time, but the board is not exactly eight inches. Uh, this board that I'm using here is actually seven and a quarter inches. So I adjusted my measurements to that and I'm gonna go ahead and make the adjustments here and I'll provide that in the description as well. Here's what we got so far, everybody. Looking pretty good, I think. It's not perfect, but you know, nobody is. So, let's go ahead and give it a test. And, well, bam. You can tell it's not sitting flush because, I mean, I have this little cap in there. So when it's actually sitting in there, sitting in there, it should sit flush. I'm gonna sand it a little bit, get everything nice and clean, and then we're gonna torch it. We're gonna set this thing on fire. Yeah. All right, real quick, because I think my mic is gonna die. Uh, we're getting ready to torch it. So I got my torch here. Grabbed a fire extinguisher just in case. And you may notice that the lighting has changed a little bit. That's because the garage door is open in case I have to grab this thing and run out there real quick and get it out of the house. 
So we're gonna go ahead and torch it. It's gonna look good, I think, at least I hope. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty nice. Uh, so my mic did die. Probably gonna have to wait for it to charge up to finish the video, but I, I think that turned out pretty nice. I, I like that. That's a good look. It's got like a old-timey feel to it. Kinda looks like a, a little house that kinda caught on fire, but stayed strong. All right, we'll get back at it. All right, last little bit. Got all these pennies here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the top here to make shingles. And we'll see how it turns out. Might try a few different ways of adhering it to the wood. Um, but mainly gonna try the uh, super glue that we have. Hopefully it works and hopefully it lasts a good while. I'm gonna have to clean this off first because it's got a little dust on it. But let's get started. All right, we're all finished up here. Got the penny roof on. I took a pair of pliers and a hammer and I kind of bent some of the pennies to kind of fit around like a crown. And we got that taken care of. Now I'm gonna try to fill this with some bird seed. See if I can't make like a spout here.
probably a really bad idea. Oh, it's getting everywhere. It's all over the place. That's enough. <laughs> I'll uh, sweep that up and kick it outside and the birds can have it. Let's go around front here and we'll try to get it in there and see if it overflows. So now the birds have a spot that they can, uh, they can perch, chew on some seeds, and as it gets lower, this thing is gonna spill out a few more. Turned out quite nice, I think. There are a few things that I would change if I could. Um, I should have staggered the pennies on the sides. You can see I did straight lines. I should have uh, staggered them horizontally. And uh, didn't like having to use a hot glue gun, mainly because now I got spots where hot glue is kind of sticking out. Uh, maybe a faster adhesive would have been better. Um, the super glue I had was supposed to be quick, but it also needs 24 hours of cure time. I think the weight of the pennies as I was starting to stack them up was causing them to slide down and it wasn't working. So tried something different. The hot glue gun did work well as far as keeping them on there and it's it's pretty good. I mean, I don't, I don't have anything sliding on there. I do like the burnt, burnt wood look. I didn't think I would like it. Uh, I'd see a lot of people doing it. It's got a spe uh, special name. Um, I'll put it in the description if I look it up. But uh, I do like the look that it gave this particular project. But uh, that's it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. And uh, please, if we can get some subscribers, my wife says if we can get 100 subscribers, I can get an actual camera. We're currently using our phones and the transfer is not working very well for me. So subscribe, get me up to 100 subscribers and let me uh, get a camera. Have a good one, bye.